again with another episode of Catfish. Before I even start the video, guys, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to share this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yes, guys, we're back with more fuckery and foolishness. That is Catfish. Okay, guys. Okay. Me, um, got a video message from a young man named Adonis. He is concerned about his brother, Dijon who has been talking to a young lady named Kashe for about a year. Okay. They live in Detroit, Michigan. And every time Dijon wants to meet, Kishé just, I guess, ghosts them, you know, doesn't want to meet up. Now, as I keep saying in every one of my catfish videos, will review. Anytime somebody lives in your same city, same state, and they don't want to meet, that person is not who they say they are. They are usually a catfish. Okay? So, I don't understand why Dijon, it don't even matter. Okay. So, Neve and Cammy fly out to Detroit, and they meet up with Dijon. Now, Dijon is older he's 38 and the brother is the brother is younger 21 so i don't understand how somebody that is 38 years old is falling for this bullcrap but we're gonna get to that guys so Dijon is like you know he's a single dad raising his three kids i think 12 8 and 7 if i'm not mistaken you know it don't even matter what the eight with the what they, it doesn't even matter the ages of the kids He's taking care of his kids. And Cammy's like, I like the fact that, you know, you're a dad that stepped up and took the kids and you're raising them. You know, because a lot of guys don't want to um, have anything to do with their own kids. So, I thought that was good too. So, he's like, he was on Plenty of Fish. And if you know anything about Plenty of Fish, guys, you know that there are weirdos on there. Murderers, rapists, you know, just like crazy people, sick people on Plenty of Fish. I already knew that this whole episode was going to be some craziness. So he, Dijon said that Kashin slid into, you know, I guess slid into his messages, sent him a message. Now, Kashin is beautiful. Kashin looks like a model. She has that, like, model look. You know, she's very cute. She had her long, you know, weave. She looks good. And they've been messaging... And talking ever since. But every time he wants to meet up, Kashe makes an excuse, as always. Don't they always make an excuse, guys? Don't these people always um, find a reason why they can't meet up? So, you know, he's, he's like, you know, we should meet up. She's always saying she has to work, she has to work. It's like eight times she did that to him. And he's getting fed up. He wants to meet who he's been talking to. So they're like, do you have any pictures of this person? He's like, yes, I have some pictures. And then Neve and Cammie was like, yeah, you know, she's a beautiful girl. But then Cammie was saying that it was like a filter. Like, there was like a filter on the picture. And they're like, well, do you have any other photos? And, he, and, and um, well, Cammie was like, well, maybe the person is shy. And that's why they don't want to meet her. But he's like, she sent me, you know, like full body. And they're like, did she send you nude pics? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, if a person sends nude pics, then they're not, then they're not really, you know, shy. So then they're like, did you send a pic? He's like, you gotta, you gotta um, send a pic to get a pic. So basically, he sent a picture of his dingling in bowls to somebody that he, you know, he's just, he's, he's just going by the picture. So he sent this cliche person a picture of his dingling in bowls, guys. Okay, you have to be very, very careful of who you send. Like, nude pictures, too. This is 2020. You don't know what that person could do with, you know, your photos. So then, they're like, okay, we're, um, we're going to do the investigative work. You know, we'll, you know, get started. So then they get this um, text from um, Dijon. And he's like, there's something I didn't tell you. Meet me at this address. So they go to this, um, it's like a jewelry store. And they're like, why are we out here? Why are we, you know, 
at this place. And he's like, there's something I didn't tell you. I'm more invested in cliche than I led you guys to believe. Basically, he bought a ring. Yes, guys, this foolish, crazy man done bought a ring for cliche. Somebody that he's never even met. Now, the ring was beautiful. It was a beautiful ring. It looked, it, it seems as if he was making payments like every month because I forgot to mention he owns two businesses. A trucking company and some other business. I think hardware, it, it don't even matter, but he owns two businesses. So this person, you know, has money. So, you know, he bought this ring for somebody that he doesn't even know. Who who does that? Who who does that in this world? You're going to buy a ring for somebody that you never even met? It don't even matter. So Cammy is like, oh, that ring is beautiful. And Cammy wanted to see their ring and, you know, and, like, they can't believe that this man is that foolish at 38 to buy a ring for somebody that he's never even met. That's just foolish. Talking to, to this person is one thing, but actually going, taking your money and buying a ring? <sighs> it don't even matter, guys. So, anyway, um, they go back and they start doing their research. And Dijon was there. He wanted to see the whole process. Because he's, he's not... He's not really internet... Like, literate. He doesn't know anything about, like, the internet. It looks like he doesn't even maybe be on the internet. Because if, if he doesn't know plenty of fish, it's a site for weirdos. You know, guys? So they're like, um, we're, we're going to start with um, uh, the search of the phone number. He's like, I didn't even know you could do that. I tell you, he's 30, but he's like... I don't know if he's slow or stupid. I don't know what it is. But at 30, you should have some sense of how the internet works. I don't understand that. You know, the brother is 21 and he looks smarter. But that don't even matter, guys. So, they do the phone number search. And it came up, you know, it was saying, you know, Detroit. Okay, fine. So then they found an Instagram. Like, the person had told Dijon that he didn't have an Instagram, guys. Which is clearly a lie. And they saw pictures. And it was saying, like, um, a Barbie. And they're like, that's cliche, but it's a different name, saying Bobby. So then somebody named Sydney had commented. And then they reached out to the Sydney person, and then they found a Facebook of the real person. The real, the real person's name, I think, is Ebony or something. So then they're like, well, what does this Sydney have to know? She's under this, you know, person's um, pigs. So then the person, they, um, the person called back, uh, and then she's like, you know, this is Sydney. And they're like, well, what do you know about this whole thing with Cushé and Ebony and all this other craziness? So she's like, I can't talk right now. I'm at work. They're always at work. They always can't talk when you call to confront them. What's up with these people is my question, you know? So, damn, she she said she would text them an address. So she texts them the address and they went. And they met up at a park. Now, now mind you, it's Detroit. It's it's winter. It's snow. So it's, it most likely it was cold out there, you know? And it was a young lady, and they, they're they like, are you Sydney? She's like, yeah, I'm Sydney. And they're like, well, what do you know about this whole cliche, you know, craziness? And she's like, I know cliche. Okay, cliche is my cousin. Okay. So they're like, can you tell us what is going on here? I, she's, she, she does this. This is what she does. But I can't really speak up about her because she's my cousin and that whole thing didn't did not make any sense okay you know your cousin is out here catfishing people but you don't want to talk about your cousin you know you, you know what your cousin is doing is wrong so why can't you discuss that why why are you saying you cannot talk about your own cousin why can't you say you cannot talk about your own cousin your cousin is wrong you know your cousin is wrong so that part did not make any sense to me so they're like, are you cliche? Because, you know, sometimes it, you know, be the person, but they so damn crazy, they act like they're not the person. So she's like, no, I'm not cliche, but it's my cousin. I'd rather not, you know, speak, speak on that. They're like, okay, fine. And she's like, you know, I'm sorry, you know, um, that this has happened to you, you know, Dijon. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, you know? They're like, okay, cool. So then they get in the car. And they're like, okay, we're, we're going to call this person. We're going to call this cliche person. So, Neve calls. You know, Neve is always calling somebody. So, Neve calls, and the person answers. And Dijon is like, that's her. That's the voice. So, they're like, okay, we're, um, 
We're in Detroit. We're here with Dijon. He wants to meet you. What's up? So then she's like, oh my god. It sounded, it, sounded, it sounded as if she was laughing or something. Like this whole thing was like a big joke to this person. And then like, um, and she's like, oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to meet him. Oh, you know, all this, you know, blah, say blah, whatever. So then they're like, well, what do you want us to tell Dijon? Tell him that I love him. Okay. So the next morning, they um get a text from Dijon and he's like, you know, Keisha, you know, Reached out to him, you know, sent him a text. So, he, um, cause, so, so, uh, yeah, cause Shane sent Dijon a text, and she's like, you know, we could meet up, and she like, put, um, sent like her address. So Nita's like, okay, we, you know, let's, you know, let, you know, bet, let's, let's go over there and, and see, you know, who this person, you know, really is. So they get there, and it doesn't look like anybody is home. And then, you know, you know, Neva's always, you know, looking through windows, you know, he's, he's, he's always the one that goes to the, to the person's house, you know. So, he's looking through the window and all, all of this, and, like, Cammy's like, it doesn't look like anybody's home. And then he said, I saw somebody. And then Cammy's like, you sure you saw somebody? He's like, yeah, I saw somebody. Then you hear this voice, um, come to the, um, come to the back of the house. So, they go to the back of the house, and then, like, the door opens, and Neva, you know, was standing there. And then this person comes out. It was a young African American lady named Gervais, if I'm not mistaken. And now, Gervais is cute. You know, she has a cute, you know, she has a cute little shape. She wasn't big, you know. She was maybe like, you know, maybe medium size. And Candy is like, but what's going on here? You're a beautiful girl. Why did you have to pretend to be somebody else? Why couldn't you just post pics as yourself? And she's like, oh, um, um, I've never been um accepted for me. I was bullied as a kid. I had a rough childhood, and uh, I had pics up there, and nobody paid attention to that. So I figured I would make this, you know, cliche profile, cliche, you know, could talk and you know, um get people to you know to do anything, and um. Dijon is just standing there because, you know, he is going by the picture, you know, so he feels like, he, he feels foolish now after he's done spending his money on this ring. So he's like, I don't know what to say because, you know, he, he has in his mind what Cache looks like, but Cache clearly does, but the person clearly, clearly, you know, does not look like, you know, the picture. So, you know, he's mad and then she's like, um... I've been doing this for years. I've been doing this before there was even a show called Catfish. So Catfish came on in 2012. Okay, you guys? This is like eight years. So this person has been catfishing, you know, since maybe 2008, 2009, 2010. Who the hell knows? You know? So she's like, I guess she didn't think that she was any good. Like she's like doubting her like, looks like her worth. And that's why she put this cliche profile. Okay? And she's like, I'm weird. Okay, all fine and dandy. Everybody has something. Everybody has something about them. That's what makes you, you. That's what makes you unique. No, nobody is the same, guys. That's what makes you, you. You know, pretty much. So... It did not. It did not make any sense. This lady is thirty years old, acting like somebody that's like twenty years old. You too big and grown for that. Be yourself. You know, it would have been better if she had sent a. It would have, it would have been better if she made a profile with her pictures. You know, if people don't like it, oh well. Okay, but at least that's your pictures that you posted, and not somebody, you know, else's photo. So. You know, Dijon is mad because he don't, you know, he's like, you know, I spent money on a ring for somebody who I thought I could marry. And now it's all been a lie. So, you know, they leave. And then the next day they meet up with Gervais. And she's like, um, I don't know what to say. I'm weird. But I'm sorry. Maybe we could be friends. And then... You know, Dijon is just looking like, you know, he doesn't know, like, what to think. You know, he doesn't know who Gervais is. He's just going by the picture of 
Because hey, that's all you know. he's been talking to the, for the last day. He doesn't know Gervais. He doesn't know this person. But then as she was saying, she's like, when we talked, it was me you were talking to. It was just the picture wasn't real, you know. But but still, he fell in love. He fell in love with that picture. He didn't fall in love with you, with what you look like. Okay, that's the whole point here, guys. He doesn't know who Gervais, Gervais, whatever her name is. He doesn't know who that is. He knows who Cache is. That's the picture that he was going by for the last year. So then you know she's like, well, maybe we could be friends. And he's like, I don't know. And then she stood up and she. Um, like, she got up from the couch and she came back and she's like, hi, I'm Gigi. Let's be friends. The whole thing was just stupid. I think this person was crazy, okay? That's what I really think it was. Because she was saying she has, she has 17 different people, so 17 different profiles. She's been catch, catfishing pe people for years. She has no shame. So then, just, the, um, the is like, I don't know, you know, about this. I gotta think about it or whatever. So, um, they, um, left. And then they did, you know, the update. And the Jean said, you know, he's doing good. Um, they made the um, the ring. They made earrings out of the um, ring. And, and his two daughters have that. And he's like, you know, he's doing good. You know, blah, 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 whatever. He's, 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 he's spoken to um, Gervais a few times. But he doesn't think that they could be friends. But as I said, he doesn't know that person. All he knows is, you know, the fake profile cliche. So then they reach out to um, the girl, um... Gervais, whatever her name is, it don't, don't even matter what her name is, Gervais, whatever her name is. So she's like, you know, she's spoken to Dijon a few times, and, um, you know, they, they've gotten, you know, along better, and she's like, well, I can't lie, I, I'm still on, um, plenty of fish, but she's like, this time she used her real photos, which she should have used in the first place, okay? And then like, and they're um, and then they're like, okay, well, we're glad about that. You know, I hopefully she deleted the fake profile, and she, now she's using her real profile on there. Who who's who's to say? I I don't know. I don't be on plenty of fish. So um, that was pretty much the episode. Okay. Now my problem is with Dijon. How could you be a grown ass man, thirty eight, don't know how to use the internet? And you really thought, okay, this jackass really thought that he was talking to that person. That is so stupid. He could have done his own investigation and found out that this that, that was not who he was talking to. As I said, the younger brother looked like he has he had more sense, you know, than Dijon. Dijon is a good dude, okay? He looks like a really good dude. But then he was also foolish to fall for that. And then the girl, Gervais, whatever her name is, Cliche, she was clearly crazy. Okay, who makes 17 different profiles? You know, catfishing people. It's like they had no shame in their game. You know, guys? And it's like, you're clearly sick. Okay? If you don't have confidence in yourself, then you can't post your own pictures. You need help. You need to see a psychologist. You have issues. Okay, and that's something that the people on Plenty of Fish or wherever can't help you with. You have to seek your own help for that. You know, as I said, it's better when you post your own photos. You know, if they like it, they like it. If they don't, oh well, who cares? You know, at least you're being yourself. You know, and I never could understand the reason for people catfishing. At some point, the person is going to want to meet up, and, they, and, and, and you're going to be exposed as... For, you're going to be exposed as the person that's not in the picture. So I never could understand the reason for catfish. It's just foolishness. Sick-ass people do that. But, um, and I can't believe that this jackass bought a ring, guys. I have never seen something so stupid in my life. Okay, I'm not going to be talking to somebody for a year. And, you know, never met them. And, and then buy a ring. Get out of here. Come on now. Stop it. Stop it. That was foolish. That was foolish. He should have gotten his money back instead of making some damn earrings. But hey, it, it don't even matter, guys. Um, Dijon, Dijon was just focused on the picture. You know, and like nothing else mattered. So I guess the picture got him hooked and he don't spend all his money on this ring. 
But that's it, guys. That was the episode of Catfish. Um, <sighs> this show is getting more and more crazy, guys. This show is getting more and more crazy. I'm like, I can't believe how crazy people are. I laughed when he said he bought a ring for this cliche. I started laughing, guys, because it would not be me. I was not buying a ring for somebody I never met in a day in my life, okay? But that's it, guys. Hope you guys like this review. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to comment down below, okay, guys? And I'll catch you next week with another Catfish review. Thank you guys for watching. This is Random Girl TV, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.